So now I've ordered the metal, um, and then I'll get you back your metal. I'll call you over, and you can put your stone and your metal back together, and you can see there's the uh, metal sheet I've got for this oval that came back, and it fits almost perfectly right to the edge. It's a pretty tight fit, but I, I think that'll work perfectly. But I'm gonna make sure that my metal, you can see when it's cut, it's not quite flat. Um, I don't wanna hit it with a metal hammer or that will ding up my metal. I wanna keep it nice and flat. So I'm gonna take the uh, rawhide mallet and I'm just gonna take it and tap that nice and flat. And it might scratch it up just a teeny bit. Looks like my... I want it to be laying nice and flat because when I take this bezel and I put it on my metal, I want to make sure that it's laying flat and that there are no um, gaps in it. And so if it's not laying flat, there'll be gaps. So I just kind of hit it flat there. Make sure you use the uh, steel plate and not the table because the table is not as smooth. And then use the rawhide mallet so that it doesn't ding it up quite as much. Okay, so I've got that there. Got my bezel and I can go in and check. And I can see my bezel is not laying as flat as I want it to. So I would have to go in and sand this bezel down. Now I already sanded these ones down, but I gotta check them anyway. So I'm going to take that. It's not quite laying flat. Put that there. And then just check it. That one looks like it is laying nice and tight because we already sanded that bezel down. So that one is ready for soldering. Take this one here. This one should be pretty good too. Check it. There's a little bit of gap on that side. Oh, that side looks great. Um, so I may have to go in and sand down that one side just a little bit more so that, that one works and then do the big one 